coming to you on this Wednesday. Of course, here we are on a Wednesday morning after this EF3 tornado tore through the town Monday night. We're just getting to really understand how bad the damage was. Here I am in what used to be a home what used to be a place where somebody made their memories. Uh, we're here in the kitchen now completely exposed to uh, everybody in the community as they come out and help families like this clean up from the devastation. It's remarkable to walk around this area and realize just how uh, picky and choosy this tornado was. Uh, you can look up here and you'll see there's two crock pots just sitting up there on top of their kitchen shelves. Uh, Scattered beneath the debris right here are things like children's games. Uh, I've seen pieces of clothing. There's a box of crackers. There's letters, newspapers, uh, children's uh, backpacks. It's, it's remarkable to see how much devastation is caused, not just by these structures coming down, but by these people losing all of their belongings. But with that said, we've talked to people here this morning who are the emergency response teams who are going around in the area in their trucks filled with food and water. And they tell us the resilience that this community has is remarkable. They say that everybody they talked to yesterday and our crews out here in the field yesterday saw the exact same thing. Everybody is just thankful they have their lives. They say they say things can be replaced. Uh, belongings can be recovered. However, nothing, of course, can replace your loved ones. So that is the, the good news out here from Oak Grove this morning. Uh, you kind of have to look at it that way when you're dealing with such damage like this. Another area of town that was hit very hard though is Smithville and our Jessica Reyes is there for us this morning with an update on more damage from the storms we saw there. Jessica. Yes, good morning. Well, I want to show you how this storm worked here in Smithville. You can see this home right here, all four walls up, roof is intact. But then you move just a couple of feet and you see this home uh, behind me. You just see all the debris and how much damage it had. Just a few feet um, to its right, another house intact. The roof is still there. There is no damage. So, I mean, it, it's almost like these... Uh, Tornadoes really just picked and choose where to hit. This was an EF2 tornado that Smithville saw a couple of nights ago. And like these homes, there are many other that are on the same level of damage. And now that the cleanup comes um, as the process has begun, this means a lot of rebuilding. But the Johnson County District Attorney does have a call out of warning everybody, all the storm victims of scammers. Here's what you need to know about it. Don't give any personal information out to individuals offering any door to door service, out of state vehicles. Uh, tags and unmarked cars. These are indications of transient merchants. Now there's nothing wrong with them, but they are required to have a special license. So make sure if they come to your door that you ask for that license. Now county uh, roofers, if you opt to go with county workers, they are also registered with the state of Kansas. So again, you may want to ask for that registration. And this morning, protection is key here at the entrance of these communities. And we can have a live look. You can see um, there are those signs saying that the roads are closed. There's even a police officer there making sure the only people coming and going from these communities are those who are willing to help or those who live here. So again, a lot of privacy for these residents who continue to put their lives together this morning. Live in Smithville, I'm Jessica Reyes, KCTV 5.